If you're watching this video then the script I'm about to write works, I already used it on this video and saved myself about 30 or 40 minutes of manual work. And here's a video of me solving a puzzle while I'm explaining the problem. The task I'm going to automate today is to help me with removing noise from audio in my videos. The problem is, when I'm recording something, the microphone also picks up laptop fan noise and other static noise. After I'm finished recording, I have to manually go through each one of the clips and first use a program to separate the audio from the video, then load the audio into Audacity, reduce the noise and save the new audio which has less noise. Then in my editing program, I have to align the new audio with the video. And this takes some time if I have to edit a lot of segments and also it's a repetitive process where I'm doing the exact same thing for each clip. The plan is to make a script so I can put all the videos where I need to remove noise in one folder, run the script and let it do the work while I'm doing something else. Alright, uh, before we begin let me show you something very important. Now this is how you make a coffee. Okay, let's begin. Here's a simple sketch of the system. On top here is what the directory is gonna look like. There are gonna be the original videos, the temporary folder where all these files that I marked as temporary are gonna be stored and the new videos are where the process videos are gonna go. And the algorithm itself is fairly simple. For every video it just has to take its audio, create a noise profile based on that audio and then use that noise profile to remove the noise from the audio. And finally it just has to combine the original video with the new audio and just save it in a new location. And that is it really nothing complicated. I started a fresh project and here is the folder for it. I have the image here that I was showing you a second ago, then a folder for original videos, Python virtual environment and the script itself here. So let's jump to the script. It is empty at the moment. All I have are the imports that I'm going to use. So the socks library is for audio editing, then MoviePie for videos and the OS for creating folders and navigating through the directories and stuff like that. And now that everything is set up and ready to go, we can actually start writing some code. So far I have this get noise sample function which does exactly what it says. It takes a file path to the video and cuts a noise sample from it. I was gonna do this in uh, two steps. First get the audio and then cut a noise sample but I figured out a better way of doing it and using just one library instead of two. And let's go ahead and have a look what happens if I run it now. I actually just tested it but let's do it again. So here is the folder and if I run it you can see that there's a new audio file which is the noise sample and if I go into its properties we can see that it is three seconds long and if I just pop back to the script, I'm specifying over here that I want it to be 3 seconds long. I realized that I messed up earlier on and I actually need both the original audio and the noise so I can do everything in one step. So I created this new function that I'm not completely happy with but it gets the audio and the noise from one video file and it saves them both in that folder. So let's run it and now instead of one file we get two audio files. One noise sample, the other one is test audio. I have this uh, reduce noise function which just takes uh, the original audio, the noise and it outputs the noiseless audio. It's also going to create another file called noise profile which is the actual noise data that the algorithm is going to use. If I run the script now, we should get about three or four new files. Okay, so uh, we have the test audio here, the noise sample, the noise profile, and the noiseless audio. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned is that there's a lot of files right now in the folder, but uh, most of them are going to go into the temp folder, which is going to be deleted at the end of the script.
I was so tired yesterday I couldn't keep recording, but okay, today's a new day, I just opened the project again, I figured out what I did yesterday, and I have this new replace audio function, which just replaces the audio on a video, and it saves this new video. And having done this, all the parts of our algorithm is actually working. I tested it on a real video, and we're getting a lot of junk here from the other functions, but here is the new video without noise. I compared it, and it works like magic. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is write the script on Linux. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is write the script on Linux. As you can see, there's a huge difference. So now what I gotta do is make it work on a whole folder of videos and also clean up all the junk files that are created. That is what I'm gonna work on right now. Now when you run the script, a temporary folder is created, and if we go inside, there are all those files that are going to be deleted in the end. And also there's a new videos folder, which contains the new video that we actually need. For some reason the noise profile is still here, it should be in the temporary as well. I'm going to fix that and then make it work for the whole uh, videos folder. The script should now work on the entire videos folder, so I have three videos there right now. I'm going to run it and see what's going to happen, and here we have the temp folder. Uh, we should start seeing a lot of files appear. It should be four per video. Okay, and there's the first error. I'm gonna try to find out what it is. Okay, I think it was because I forgot to put the extension for the new video. Uh, so I fixed that now and let's try to run it again. Okay, the last video has finished processing. You can see that the temporary folder here is full of crap, uh, but there's only one noise profile because I'm overwriting it. This gives me an idea that I should just like overwrite everything because I'm not gonna keep the files anyway and I don't have to waste space. So I'm just gonna use the same name for all the temporary files and they're gonna overwrite each other. And I I'm just gonna have a look at the new videos folder. I should have three new videos. Hopefully they're noiseless, but I'm gonna test it out in a second. I'm just gonna make the last few adjustments to the script and. I will consider it ready. Okay, I fixed everything up, I ran it again, and it did exactly what it's supposed to do. Now the temporary folder is being deleted, and basically after I run the script, all I have left is this new videos folder, which has all the videos, hopefully without noise. Okay, and now it's time for the real test. So these are all the videos which are going to be used for this video you're watching right now. So in total there's 130 megabytes worth of uh, screen recordings that I want to process through my program. I know this is going to take a long time, so what I'm going to do now is leave it running and probably I'll go outside or I'll go have some lunch and that would mean I saved myself about 40 30 to 40 minutes of work so let's test it out Okay, the script has finished running, and if I go into this new videos folder here, you can see that I have 10 video files. I checked some of them, and uh, from what I heard so far, the noise is gone from the videos. Uh, one thing I'll have to check is if the quality is being lost in video or audio, because I noticed that the size of the output videos is a little bit smaller than the input videos. But other than that, I will have a look through the script again. I'll try to see if there are any bugs, or how can I clean it up a little bit. But for now, I'm happy with it, and if it works as well as I think it does, then I'm just gonna use it for all my future videos. <laughs> 